Good afternoon everyone, thank you for tuning in to Tokyo Yo-Yo, my name is T. Back at it again with another Yo-Yo review. Today we're going to be looking at a Yo-Yo that I've really been enjoying. I honestly can't get enough of this thing. I'm playing it every day. I'm pretty much only playing this Yo-Yo, but I've been excited to talk about it for a long time. So, here we are talking about the Magic Yo-Yo and C3 Yo-Yo design, Vapor Motion. So is this Yo-Yo just as solid as it gets, or is the power of this Yo-Yo going to go up in smoke? shape is a very nice V. You're going to notice that the inside there's no step to the gap and then the shape of this yo-yo goes straight up into the rim of the yo-yo. This is pretty much your typical V shape. There's nothing too crazy going on here. It's not too narrow or anything like that. It's very evenly shaped. So in the cup you're going to notice this very nice flat surface here. This is very matte nice satiny finish on this. Most of the vapor motions are glossy in the metal part. The new series is actually matte. This is very, very beautiful. Feels very satiny, super comfortable, and actually really helps with the finger spins. We'll get into that in a little bit. But one interesting thing about the cup is that it's quite shallow. You're going to notice here it doesn't go down very deeply at all, and it gives it a very, very unique feel in the hand, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So the body itself is polycarbonate, plastic. It's translucent, so you can see through it. You can see here that it is easy to see the rest of the cap through it. The cap of the yo-yo goes straight through to the axle, and then the rest of it is hollow. And then on the ends here, you have this 6061 metal, which, as I mentioned, has been made matte, which is very comfortable. It feels really nice in the hand. V-shapes aren't typically the most comfortable, but something about this one feels really good. The edge of the yo-yo isn't really rounded off, but you're going to find it doesn't really make a lot of contact, even on catches, because of the shape of the yo-yo, because the rims are a little bit bigger, so they don't actually, like... The edges don't have a lot of chance to hit you really hard, so it's actually very, very nicely shaped for catches. When I first held it, it was kind of like, it was hard to get used to because at first you're used to like having a deeper cup that you can get your fingers into, but this thing is so shallow, I'm still not 100% used to it. And that's not a bad thing at all. It actually feels really different from all my other yo-yos, so it's something I kind of enjoy having this more shallow cup design. Besides that, it just feels great in the hand, comfortable on catches, no problems there. And the look of the yo-yo is super stylish. We've got the polycarbonate translucent body. You've got these caps here. This is in one of the new colorways. Now in Japan it was called black and rainbow, but I believe it's called rainbow disco in English. It's a black with a blue, pink, yellow, and green acid wash and splash. Look at this thing. It's really gorgeous. I mean, the acid wash and the splash are so clean. You can see there's just a really cool mix of different colors around here. Every single one of these models looks so, so different, which is really neat. I like how this side's kind of pink and then this side's kind of green and yellow. This really, really cool looking. I haven't really been able to get over how neat this thing looks. And it's one of the primary reasons I play it all the time is because it's just so much fun to look at. I ended up getting this from Rewind really recently, and this was a big collab between two companies. So the Vapor Motion is a collab between Magic Yo-Yo and C3 Yo-Yo Design. So I believe C3 did the design work, and I believe this is kind of based on the C3 Yo-Yo Design finger spin, the way that these caps sort of work here. But it was machined by Magic Yo-Yo, and they offered a lot of different tips and advice and suggestions for how C3 could make it. And to be honest, I think this is one of the best collabs I've ever played. I'm really hoping these companies work together again because if it's anything like how this came out, they're that's a really special pairing of companies. And obviously it came out during a really good time for hybrids. Like right now the hybrid boom is pretty big. You're seeing a lot of plastic and metal yo-yos come out. Most recently the iceberg's been like the yo-yo to have. And while the concept of having plastic and metal together is not anything new, and this doesn't really play anything like the iceberg at all, it is interesting to see all these new yo-yos taking these kind of new spins on the hybrid design. And this feels so unique and different that I'm really hoping that they continue with the style and they keep improving on it.
This thing is super smooth. It feels really, really fantastic on the string. Something about it, something about the way it sits on the string, something about, I don't know, just the way it's balanced makes it feel super, super smooth. It's really nice how light this thing is. It is a little bit on the light side, which is nice, so it means it's gonna be easy to move. I find that this thing gets going really quickly. It accelerates extremely fast, and it feels like it's extremely easy to move. And the way the weight is distributed, you don't ever feel like you're having to haul this thing or pull it or anything. It feels like it obeys your commands really quickly. Now, at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's sacrificing spin time. I've seen some people kind of mention that, that they thought it didn't spin as long. I've never had a problem with this thing. I think it's balanced extremely well, and because of the metal caps, and not just the caps, but the metal sides, the whole side is metal here. The weight distribution is just perfect for 1A. It just it keeps moving, it keeps spinning, it doesn't have any sense of slowing down, but at the same time, you feel like you can really move it. And it's really quiet too, which I think really helps kind of accentuate that smooth feeling. The V-shape here makes catches on the string extremely easy. It's not narrow by any means, so it's very easy to get the string in here, and there's no sense of like anywhere where the string could catch. It's just really nice and smooth down to the gap, so catches are no problem on this thing. Slacks, whips, all that stuff, hops between different strings have been really simple with this. Gotta talk about the finger spins, obviously. This thing was designed with finger spins in mind. I have some seen some people express concern over the size of the dimple. It's not been a problem at all for me. Your finger fits into this dimple extremely easily. And a big problem with the original Vapor Motion that a lot of people mentioned is that these caps were glossy. On this, they are not. They're matte or are blasted or something. I don't know, but they're extremely satiny feeling. So smooth, so premium feeling. And finger spins just have never been easier than on this thing. It's one of those designs that just, you get your finger in there and then immediately it finds the same center and it just locks in and it spins for a long time and it's extremely smooth and stable on a finger spin as well. The idea of making these caps matte is pretty much made this a total no-brainer for finger spins. Grinds are okay. The polycarbonate in here is going to grind just fine. The shape doesn't lend itself that well to grinds. It's not going to be the longest grinding yo-yo that you have. But this isn't any slouch by any means. It just doesn't do like those five or six second finger grinds. But you can get some pretty decent grinds out of this. The response on this thing is so, so good. It's got these kind of, I don't know if they're clear or translucent or light blue pads, but whatever they are, they are super snappy, never snaggy at all, extremely tight binds. I've never had a problem with binds with this thing. I don't know, just overall, I can't stop playing this thing. It's so, so fun. Something about, you know, the fact that it's a plastic and metal hybrid, the fact that it's got these really cool caps and these really incredible color choices, the way that it's kind of on the light side of things, but not like too light so that it has enough spin time. It's got this really cool performancey shape. It's very, very sporty. It moves real quick. I just can't put this thing down. It's been so much fun to play. I'm finding that I'm bringing, you know, I usually bring five or six yo-yos with me in a case everywhere I go and I just leave the case in my bag and I'm only playing this all the time. It's been a couple weeks now and I'm finding that the more I'm playing it, the more I'm loving it. You know how we kind of are, us yo-yo people, when we get a new yo-yo, we love it and love it and we say, oh, everything else is great and then over time, we kind of put that yo-yo aside and we go back to our other ones. But it's been the absolute opposite with this, is the more I play it, the more I love it, and the less I'm playing everything else. It's super, super fun. It just feels like it's the perfect balance between being sporty and performance-driven, but also being really fun at the same time. The look of this thing is incredible. You've got the polycarbonate body, the two metal sides, which especially on this colorway, this rainbow disco, just have so much impact. It's an extremely gorgeous yo-yo. Hybrid designs aren't really anything that crazy or new, but the way that this one looks and the way it feels and plays, it feels pretty special. The build of this thing is really nice. You really gotta give it a chance. Once you play it, you're gonna feel how premium this thing is. It really plays above its price point. The response on this thing is awesome. No problems at all. I like the bearing. It's got one of those centering bearings you can see here. It's got that little groove in the center that kind of helps you keep the string in the middle. And it's been extremely smooth and quiet. It's only had one or two times that it's gotten a little bit loud and after a couple more minutes of play it quieted down again. C3's bearings are extremely nice. The finger spins on this thing are really good, obviously we've mentioned that. It's extremely smooth, but something about the way it moves, something about the way it lands on the string, maybe it's the lightness, maybe it's the smoothness of the bearing, I don't know, but it feels just buttery smooth. I don't really have any cons for the Vapor Motion. The only thing I would mention is that a complaint that a lot of people have had is that the glossy version doesn't really finger spin that well. So what you should do is go make sure you get one of the new run, make sure you check that it's one of the matte versions. After this one's come out, there's no reason to get the glossy version. So I think this makes it pretty much a near perfect yo-yo for its price point. 
I think the Vapor Motion is really good for people who want to get a good all-rounder. Like I said, it's got a great balance of performance and sportiness at the same time. It's extremely fun because of these cool colors and because it's kind of half plastic and it's got this neat design. So I think it's a good mix for those people. If you're into something like totally organic or you want to play with something that's just, you know, casual and floaty all the time, this may not be the best choice for you because it does have that performance shape. But at the same time, because it is plastic and because it is a little bit on the lighter side, I don't feel like the kind of performance sport shape really mess with the comfort at all. It does feel really, really nice. You know, it's really cheap. It's only around 50 or so for this new version. So I really think you should give it a chance. If you get a chance to try it in the store, definitely do so. I think it's a really fun yo-yo and it's a cool collaboration between Magic Yo-Yo and C3. And I really hope we see more stuff like this from them in the future. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching Tokyo Yo-Yo today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have already sorry I know the lighting is kind of weird in this one there's a, it's really windy and the leaves are all blowing around thank you so much to Clozy for the use of their song Koto which I used in the intro and the outro of this video it's a wonderful song Clozy is a wonderful artist go check out all their work everything is awesome but Koto is just perfect for Tokyo Yo. make sure you check me out on Instagram I'm at Tokyo Yo videos we do a lot of stories I'm posting yotography there all the time so go check me out over there plus if there's something going on with the channel I'm gonna post about it there first Thanks so much for watching. Take care, have a nice day, and sayo yonaro.